Hey everybody, welcome back. John here. Part two of the videos. I wasn't planning on doing a second video today, but uh, but there is some updates and information that I want to add as an addendum to the first video. Not because I got a haircut, even although that's a nice change of pace. Um, but uh, the bigger information is that there's there's a fair amount of censorship, as you can imagine, on YouTube that we're having. So in order to give you more outlets to the truth without any censorship or interference, um, I also do have an additional Rumble channel that you can join. You can follow us on Rumble, where we'll be able to give you the entire truth, unfiltered, and uncensored, and unedited, so you can get uh, everything you need. Um, there is additional talk also from James Comer that the Bidens are going to be subpoenaed. This puts more pressure to get them to either resign or step down to uh, medical illness. And HSBC has just announced that they're coming up with a digital uh, token gold platform. So what I wanted to tell you in the first video that I, I was remiss in telling you because I didn't miss too many details is that I'm, I'm about 95% sure that this entire reset is going to be predicated on, on a digital currency. So you know, we're going to the new digital economic reality for the dinar, for the dong, for the zim bonds, for the rupee and all the other 205 concurrent currencies that are coming out. So it is going to be a digital platform and there's two benefits. One, it uh, removes the sanctions from these countries with the U.S. deep state. And the second thing is it allows them to power up in the metals or assets that's backing their country, such as in Iraq's case, gold, and in, in Vietnam's case, um, silver. You should also be watching for the China-Taiwan invasion, because I think we're going to see that later this year. And that is going to allow Vietnam to break away from the CCP and power up in the aforementioned digital uh, silver uh, um, for their currency. So it will be a conversion, basically. Uh, there was a comment on the other video, some concerns about the EBS. The EBS is going to happen. No, because I'm doing a show with Nick does not mean the EBS is not going to happen by then. I don't know when that's going to happen, but I do see that sometime this year. So just relax, let these things play out, trust God, trust the process, and be thinking about your lateral plans once the reset happens, who's going to be blessed, and make sure that you leave a miscellaneous section in your plans for humanitarian projects as to the ways that God wants you to bless additional people or groups that you hadn't previously considered. All right, thanks so much, and I'll see you soon.